This is Module 5, Lesson 2. In this lesson, we're decomposing fractions as the sum of unit fractions using tape diagrams. We're going to start with a number bond, showing the whole number 1, broken into three fractional parts, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, and 2 fourths. The number sentence that would go with that would be 1 equals 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. We could also draw a tape diagram to show the same thing. We divide the tape into four equal size parts. We'd show that the whole tape is equivalent to 1 and we would have 1 fourth and 1 fourth and 2 fourths which show the same decomposition of the number 1. Now we could also draw a different tape diagram still showing the whole number 1 broken into 4 equal size parts so we're breaking it into fourths but we could group differently. We could say 1 fourth. Again, this is one whole, 1 fourth, and then 3 fourths. So the number sentence would be 1 equals 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. A different way we could do it, our whole number 1 broken into fourths. And this time we could group two fourths and two fourths, and our number sentence would be one is equal to two fourths plus two fourths. Yet another way would be to keep each fourth separate and the number sentence would be 1 equals 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth and this is a particular number sentence that shows our total as the sum of unit fractions Remember that unit fractions always have a 1 in the numerator and they indicate the single piece that the whole is broken into. So each of these is 1 fourth. And that's the unit fraction that we've div divided this whole number into. So this particular equation represents the sum of unit fractions. Let's look at another one. Let's draw a tape diagram again. This time we're going to break it into eights. And we're going to shade seven of those eights. We're going to show that the whole tape diagram is equal to one. So the part we've shaded is seven eighths. If we want to show this as the sum of unit fractions, it would be one eighth plus 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 1 eighth. So this would show 7 eighths as the sum of unit fractions. So we have decomposed 7 eighths 
into unit fractions. Now there's other ways we could decompose 7 eighths. We could group together these three as 3 eighths and group together these as 4 eighths and 3 eighths plus 4 eighths would equal 7 eighths. We could also do 2 eighths plus 5 eighths. There's many different ways we can do this, but the important thing is that they all add up to our total of 7 eighths. Let's look at a different one. Let's start with the fraction 5 6 and let's show it as a number bond and we're going to break it into 3 6 and 2 6 and we're going to write the number sentence that goes with that with that then we can draw the tape diagram that goes with it. We're going to indicate that the entire tape is equal to one whole and we're going to shade 5, 6 and our first add end in our Num uh, number sentence is 3 6 and the second is 2 6 so this tape diagram matches both the number bond and the number sentence now let's look at this one here we have a tape diagram and this time the fraction that we want to represent is 5 fourths so we know we're going to have five pieces in our tape diagram, but the four tells us that one whole is going to be broken into force. So we need five pieces, uh, five equal size pieces, but one is going to be broken into force. So we're talking about five force, and if we write it as the sum of unit fractions, we could also say five force is equal to two-fourths plus one-fourth plus two-fourths. That's another way to decompose it. We could also say five-fourths is equal to this one whole plus the one-fourth that's left. Because we know that one would be four-fourths. If we've broken the whole into four pieces and we have all of them, we have the whole thing. So one is equal to four fourths. Okay, let's use this to work some problems in our problem set. So number one says to draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction, then record the decomposition as a sum of unit fractions, and then step three, record the decomposition of the fraction in two more ways. So the first one's been done. The fraction we're showing is 5 eighths. We've done, the tape diagram is drawn, divided into eight pieces. Five of them are shaded. The first equation shows us broken into unit fractions. And then these are two other ways it could be broken down. These are not the only two ways. There's a variety of different ways but we just have to choose two. Okay, pause the video and try B yourself.
Okay, for B, we know our total is broken into tenths. And we're talking about nine of the pieces. So we're going to shade in nine. As the sum of unit fractions, it would be one tenth nine times. Again, there's a variety of ways you might show it. Decompose in a different way. You might do four tenths, five tenths plus four tenths. You might do three tenths plus three tenths plus three tenths. Whatever you did for the two other ways are fine as long as the fractions sum to nine tenths. Pause the video and try C. Okay, for C, we know we're going to end up with three equal size pieces. But these pieces are halves. So two of these is going to be equal to one with one third here. So we're talking about three halves. So as the sum of unit fractions, three halves would be equal to one half plus one half plus one half. We could also say three halves is equal to one plus one half. We could say three halves is equal to two halves plus one half. Again, there's more than one answer for the two alternative forms, but this is the only way to, to draw it as the sum of unit fractions. For number two, it says to draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction and then record the decomposition in, th in three different ways using number sentences. So pause the video and try A. Okay, for a tape diagram, our one total is divided into eight equal sized pieces. and we're going to shade seven of them. So seven eighths could be equal to two eighths plus five eighths or three eighths plus two eighths plus two eighths or it could also be the sum of unit fractions Again, there are several ways of doing it. These are three possible ways. Okay, so pause the video and do B. Okay, for B, we know our tape diagram is going to be divided into five equal size pieces, but we're talking about thirds, so that means three thirds is one and we're talking about all five of the thirds. So five thirds could be equal to one plus one third plus one third. Five thirds could be equal to two thirds plus three thirds. It could all be also be equal to one plus two thirds. Those are three possible ways of showing it. The important thing is to remember that we're talking about thirds, so three thirds would be equal to one. Pause the video and try C. <clears throat> okay, here our tape diagram is divided into seven equal size pieces.
but we're talking about fifths. So five fifths is going to be one. We're talking about all seven fifths. So seven fifths could be shown as one plus two fifths, or seven fifths could be three fifths plus two fifths plus one fifth plus one fifth, or seven fifths equals one plus one fifth plus one fifth. That's three possible ways of doing it. Pause the video and try D. So here we know that we're talking about thirds and we have one, so we know that we need our one would be three thirds plus one more third, so we're going to have four thirds in our tape diagram. Three thirds is one, so one and one third could be equal to three thirds plus one third, or one and one third could be equal to two thirds plus two thirds, or one and one third if we write it as sum of unit fractions would be one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. And that's the end of lesson two.